from from school it, it uh, I was getting um, into into music uh, via um, uh, teachers and uh, um, and um, getting my own um, music. Uh, um, the the main introduction to to my music was an art teacher who um, actually, um, unbeknown to me, um, played in this New Orleans jazz band in Nottingham and. Uh, um, left school and well the thing is that um, every, all, all, all the young guys wanted the first pint of beer so off you go in search of this underage pint of beer and um, it uh, went to this pub and up the stairs and there, there was this noise playing upstairs and it got louder and louder and louder and went through the door and there was my art teacher didn't know at all he could he was playing a trumpet in this New Orleans band and it just from that it just blew blew my mind um, so uh, it sort of carried on from there and uh, um, um, well, you're saying you sort of underage what kind of what kind of age would you think you'd oh be I must have been about sort of uh, 15 and a half 16 yeah and uh, but I did get he did manage to get me and my friend off half a pint each so uh, um, two things were do to done that day uh, love of music and New Orleans jazz and a pint of beer uh, I don't know which one did better for me but uh, the both was all right in the end um, but yeah then that started me into um, going to leave, uh, listen to live music every time every chance I get got and then the dreaded day come when um, I actually bought a turntable I can't even remember what it was now but I did buy a turntable and it didn't sound very good so being an engineer and started in engineering when I was seven because my father owned this business and um, we um, used to make textile machines um, but I was happy on the lathe making prototype turntables um, which um, at last even some of my friends started to buy so uh, I was impressed um, and then uh, I like all young guys do they start out in life and they want their own little business and off I went and um, uh, a company called New Line Engineering I opened up. Still doing a bit of textiles, but main interest was making the merry-go-rounds, the turntables. And, um, and the, as far as the world knows, the, the first one was the, the Deus. Um, and that really started 1970, went on to about 1970 six, seven, um, sold a lot around the world and um, people enjoyed them um, and we got a lot of feedback and everything and then um, things like the Omega Point uh, under the, under the um, uh, New Line Engineering uh, badge um, and then it, with me completely finishing with textiles, I changed the name uh, because then it didn't confuse anybody what we were doing. Um, did you? you well, I think it, yeah. again, you, Nottingham in, is an area that's famous for its kind of textiles and things. It, so. Yes, it, it was. Uh, so it was a sort of a, a good sort of uh, jump to be uh, in there. And, but to get out of it, and to do what I wanted to do, the passion of music, um, was everything really. Um, and uh, so I actually uh, got into uh, the music via analogue, by listening to normal, natural um, sounds, um, classical, jazz, rock, pop, and then of course, um, the company had to be 
the word analogue in it because that's what they didn't go much for the digital um, scene at that time. I mean, again, what I mean, what kind of bit are we talking here? Well, well, now you're talking possibly, you know, 70, 76, 1976, 77, something like that. It was all beginning to. You, you still had that analogue that it had to be analogue even then it before, to, it had to before be the digital thing that really. Really took its. Uh, well, it done anything, really. No, it hadn't. But uh, we. Um, we we heard it and uh, um, it didn't impress us um, and um, I know today it's got better but we're still waiting for them to join up all the dots and yeah. then of course they'll be where we are, analog. Um, uh, so, uh, but then um, as the years went by we was, um, I was sort of exporting uh, hopefully the illusion of music from the turntables uh, all over the world uh, and great fun and uh, met a lot of wonderful wonderful interesting people um, and um, the last turntable I did for uh, before I retired from Nottingham Analogue um, was the 294 um, 294 because it's a nominal distance of a 12 inch arm uh, from the centre of the turntable to the um, arm board and took it round America and Japan and it was great success, success a great success but left there um, uh, health problems and uh, so forth and um, couldn't retire um, um, still this passion and love of music so um, during my illness um, I thought of um, uh, that how can I better my old my all my old Nottingham analogue hey, take it that next stage further designed yeah, yeah. Take, just take it that stage that, that stage further and um, so, yes, uh, um, so this um, Amiga range now um, uh, has been virtually completed uh, and uh, um, we're um, having them manufactured um, in Denmark um, and it's simply because the guys in Denmark who's going to hopefully over the, well, not hopefully, they will over the years, take these designs further uh, because they've got ears and what have they got? They've got the most important thing. They've got the passion and the love of music. And without that, you can make, a, you can make any audio piece of equipment and if you can't, haven't got the passion and drive behind it, um, it's hardly going to succeed really in that sense. So these guys have got the passion and the drive and it may sound hammy as well but um, the real joy of getting some piece of equipment or a system into a home and you can walk away and say wow They've got the illusion of music in that house, and they're really enjoying it. And it's a great experience, and uh, and it's a, a great industry to be in, if if you like that uh, sort of um, if music is what you well what turns you on really. Um, so I'm also pleased that these designs are going going there. Um, I mean, my old designs. Um, uh, aware that they are being manufactured and uh, but no one has got the exclusive rights on my old designs um, and I loved every one of them and still do um, but it's like everything else um, uh, music drives you on it's got to be yeah you, you've got to try and get better and um, uh, 
every person who's got a hi-fi system, they do want to um, uh, slightly better it over the years and so forth and so. But we've made, well, I've made great improvements um, uh, um, on um, bearing design, um, on isolation motor, and on material, on speed and materials. And uh, um, I'm sort of so excited about that.